10 a.m. on January 1, 1914, the first scheduled commercial flight took off from the water near the city of St. Petersburg's Bayfront. The flight only took about 20 minutes to go from St. Pete to Tampa, but it made world history as the first scheduled commercial flight, ushering in a new era of travel. Welcome to, uh, to the wood shop here. This is obviously the hull uh, of the Ben Wild that we've been recreating here for, uh, for a couple of years now. It was kind of serendipitous as to how all this happened. And uh, I think this was meant to be that we built this airplane. I was being inducted at a luncheon into the Florida Aviation Hall of Fame. And I happened to be sitting at the table with a couple of uh, uh, Florida Aviation Historical Society members. One of them happened to mention that uh, the 100th anniversary was coming up in three years. And they were gonna build a one-third scale model airplane to fly for the anniversary. And I thought, well, you know, that's not very uh, adventurous. And basically, uh, I said, well, didn't somebody build one that's hanging up in the St. Pete Museum? And they said, yeah, but the engine's been taken out, it's been donated, it's hanging up. You know, we really couldn't, that airplane's really not available. And I just happened to make an offhanded comment that maybe I'll build one. Literally three weeks from today, we gotta be in St. Pete. So the clock's ticking, we got a lot of work to do. The engine has arrived, uh, we got a safe engine that's been running. It was built basically from scratch, and it's, uh, and it's an exact reproduction of the original six-cylinder Roberts engine. The key thing with uh, Pioneer Airplane is you know, acquiring the engine. The airplanes are basically pretty simple uh, construction, but uh, without the engine, to me, it's not a reproduction, it's a replica. So I uh, kind of made the decision, let's see what engines are available. I found one that I could borrow. There were none available to buy. And even if you did, you didn't know the condition, is it really safe? So we had the engine built from scratch. And uh, trust me, uh, if it's supposed to sound the way it's supposed to sound, that's what I want because that really reflects the energy of the period of what they created. And if you've got an engine that sounds like a sewing machine, it's just not the same. <laughs> Ultimately, I do want to make the historical flight uh, next year. Uh, hopefully we'll make it on, on New Year's Day.